I am pleased to be here today to provide an update on how student learning is progressing during the COVID-19 pandemic. Let me first start by echoing what the Premier confirmed last week during the announcement of Alberta's relaunch strategy. In-person classes will be cancelled for the remainder of the 2019-2020 school year. However, teacher-directed at-home learning will continue based on the direction I provided to schools back on March 20th. Since beginning at-home learning, we have seen tremendous uptake within our education system. Schools and teachers across this province quickly adapted to our new reality and have worked very, very hard to ensure our students continue to learn. Across Alberta, we are seeing teachers and schools use multiple approaches when it comes to delivering course content to their students. Roughly 91% of public, separate, francophone and charter school authorities are offering online learning to their students. Approximately 53% are emailing homework to their students and about 47% are sending paper-based products, homework and such to their students. This approach is working and thanks to the hard work of teachers across this province, our students are receiving the core knowledge they require to ensure that they progress. We recognize that the transition to at-home learning has not been easy and that many students may not have access to the equipment they require. I'm pleased to share with you today that school authorities and our government have provided approximately 60,000 devices, including laptops, Chromebooks, tablets, and iPads to students as they learn from home. School authorities have prioritized providing devices to students based on need, focusing on those who don't have access to devices, have complex needs, or are high school students. In addition, the Métis Nation of Alberta, in partnership with Rupert's Land Institute, has purchased over 2,200 devices for self-identified Métis students across Alberta. Our education system and their communities have come together to support our children's education, and I cannot thank everyone enough for stepping up and demonstrating true Alberta spirit during this very, very difficult and challenging time. We are also working on detailed re-entry plans for the upcoming school year. While we do not yet know what health guidelines will be in place by then, or which stage in Alberta's relaunch we will be at, we are actively collaborating with our education partners on a re-entry plan that is based on three potential scenarios. Scenario one, that I know you and many others myself included, hope for, is that for schools to be open and operating as much as possible under normal conditions. For scenario two, we are envisioning an environment where schools are generally open, but with some health restrictions in place. This could include PPE measures or physical distancing guidelines for certain classes. And scenario three is that teacher-directed at-home learning continues. Last week, I spoke about this with school boards, teachers, administrators, and other staff, parents, and students themselves. They have given us some excellent feedback on various aspects of what things could look like in September under each of the three scenarios. As we progress in our planning, I will share a first draft of our re-entry plan with them first and foremost, and then uh, I will be gaining further input from them. I want to be clear at this time, no decisions have been made on any aspect of the re-entry plan. These items are only three of many, many considerations before us. Any proposals that ultimately appear in the re-entry plan will be subject to approval by the Chief Medical Officer of Health, will be aligned with Alberta's relaunch strategy and will honour collective agreements. I know for families it can be challenging to know what to do 
and where to turn for support and guidance during at-home learning. This is especially true for children with disabilities and their parents, where changes from the traditional delivery process may present even more challenges. To help with these concerns, Alberta Education has created a helpline for parents and families. This will be managed by staff at Alberta Education who can assist with answering questions or directing parents to resources provided by their school authorities. The phone number is 780-422-6548. It can be reached toll free by first dialing 310-0000. Staff can also be reached via email at studentsupport at gov.ab Ca. At this time, I want to express a very sincere thank you to all the parents, other family members, teachers, and school staff for their great efforts to keep our students learning during this unprecedented time. I've seen many examples of Albertans rising to the challenge of coming up with creative solutions to support student learning. What you have been able to accomplish in less than two months is truly remarkable and inspiring. And I just really want to thank each and every one of you. Before I conclude, I want to briefly share a message with our graduating students. My office has received numerous calls and emails from grade 12 students who are saddened at the cancellation of their graduation ceremonies and celebrations and their disappointment is extremely warranted. I totally understand. I want to stress that while this situation is not ideal, you should be proud of all that you have accomplished. You have come far throughout your 12 years of education and you have a lot to be proud of. There will come a time where you can celebrate with friends and family, but for now, I just ask that you reflect on these 12 years and do not undervalue this great achievement of yours. I am proud of you, your province is proud of you, and I know that your teachers, your friends, and your family are proud of you. So please, please celebrate in your own way at this time. Thank you.